and welcome to another episode of EPMS Tech Talk. I'm Joanne Laflamme. And I'm Chris Costa. So Chris, what do you want to talk about today? Well, we've seen accounts receivable invoicing. What about taking a look at invoicing out of our invoicing package? Sure. It's really pretty simple to invoice mm -hmm. out of invoicing. Um, basically, when you get into invoicing, you can go to your completed job list and easily create an invoice by mm -hmm. clicking on the job. Um, you also can take a look at open invoices that you have created but haven't posted yet or maybe haven't sent out yet. Right. And then you can also look at invoices that you've posted um, that are in history. Okay. And then the last thing is you can also even have a screen to look at recurring invoices where you can easily create uh, invoices over and over again that are okay. recurring. Oh, well, good. Okay. Can we take a look at an example? Sure. sure. Okay. All right, let me open up invoicing. When you first open up invoicing, you're looking at a list of your open invoices. I'm going to click on the drop down and choose completed jobs. And this shows me all my jobs that are completed and ready to be invoiced. So I'm going to start with this job 4088. I can highlight the job, double click on it, and it goes to create the invoice. And the first thing it asks me is if I want to put each component on a separate line item or if I want to just invoice the entire job. This only has one component, so I'm just going to say no here and invoice the entire job. It then creates the invoice and creates the line item. From here I can edit it. And it brings in the job information, how many was ordered, how many were shipped, the unit price, any freight from shipping, if you've entered any freight costs, as well as your comments here. I can view the job from here, or I can just click OK and save any of my changes. And then from here, I can save the invoice, print it. I can post it if I'm ready to post it. I can hit the Calculate button and take a look at uh, the payments and um, subtotals and freight and handling and whatnot on the invoice. I can also go to the taxes button and this would have brought in any tax codes that were sent on the customer or I can add or change them here as well. Let's go to print the invoice and we can see the invoice here. Uh, this is our standard invoice. At the bottom, it will show the subtotal of everything on the invoice, as well as freight, postage, handling, and tax, and then the total at the bottom. And now I'm just going to save this. And uh, once I save the invoice, I can go to Open Invoices, and here it's in my Open Invoice list. And at this point, I can uh, make changes to it, and when it's it's ready, I can send it to my print it, send it to my customer, mm -hmm. and post it. Okay. Um, now, what if I need to put multiple jobs on the same invoice? Sure, you can do, you that. Can do that. You can do that. You can either go to your open invoice list and add jobs there, mm -hmm. um, or you can go to your open invoice list and click on the add button as if you wanted to create a brand new invoice and bring in multiple jobs that way. Okay. Let's take a look yeah, at that. Sure. So, if I wanted to add in, uh, uh, multiple jobs to this invoice I've already created, I could edit it. And then once it's open, I can click on the List Jobs button, and it will show me all in-process and completed jobs for this customer. So I can select either from my completed jobs or my in-process jobs. So if I wanted to add these two completed jobs to this invoice, I just highlight them. And as I'm clicking on them, it doesn't uh, remove the highlight from the one that's there, so I can select more than one at a time. Then I can either select job button, click on the select job button to bring in a line item per job, or I can even hit the select components button if I want a line item per component. So I'm going to hit select jobs, and then it brings those jobs into the invoice as well. And I can then save it, print it, post it as well. Now I could also click on the add button here, and it'll, this will bring up a completely blank invoice. I can select my customer, And then I can again go to the List Jobs button, and I can bring in one, or if there had been more, I could select others mm -hmm. and bring them in the invoice that way. Okay. And then save it. Good. Okay. Um, and then I guess the only other thing on the other side of that, what if we need to invoice the same job multiple times? Sure, you can do so, that. Um, mm -hmm. The key to that is when you create the invoice, whether it be for a single job or multiple jobs, there's a little checkbox at the bottom mm -hmm. of the invoice that says, do not post these jobs to history. Okay. Because when you post an invoice, that's what it will do. Mm -hmm. You post the invoice, it'll take that job and move it to history. Okay. Um, with that particular checkbox checked, it knows it's a partial invoice, and so you're not done invoicing with it. Mm -hmm. So it won't move it to history. It'll leave it um, in the list so that it can be selected in future invoices. Okay. Okay, would you like to take yeah. a look at that? Yeah, let's take a look at one of those. All right. 
So let's go back to my open invoice list and let's open the, um, the invoice we created earlier. And I'm going to actually delete these jobs out of it and go back to that one job I had. And say I wanted to invoice this job, but I want it to be a partial invoice. So say I only want to invoice um, $500 instead of the full $1,000. In this case, I'm going to change my pricing method to total. And I'm going to change my um, unit price to $1,000. And my extended, uh, excuse me, $500. And my extended price to $500 and click OK. So now I'm only billing half of that. Mm -hmm. I'm going to check this checkbox that says do not post um, jobs in this invoice to history. And then I'm actually going to post it. Now if I want to go back and invoice that again, I can select my customer again. I can go to the list jobs button and that job is still here, the 4088. I can select it. It brings in the full $1,000 again and I'd have to go back and change it to whatever I want to um, bill at this point. So if I'm going to bill the the remaining amount at this point, I put in my other $500. And this time, if it's the last invoice, I would then not check that box that says, do not mm -hmm. post these jobs to history. So the job will get moved to history. Right. Okay. You know, if I was only billing maybe another 250 I would put that checkbox back on. And then mm -hmm. when I build the next 250 I would leave it on. Okay. So you can do multiple partials, as many partials as you Correct. want. Correct. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Just that last one has to have that checkbox on right. check. Right. Right. Okay. okay. Makes sense. Do you have any other questions? No, I think that was good. Well, thank Very you. Good. Thank you. And thank you for joining us for another episode of EPMS Tech Talk. I'm Joanne LaFlamme. And I'm Chris Costa. Please look forward to more to come.